Hello, my name is Sean Patrick, and welcome today to join us here. I'm the CEO and founder of Gabbana. We're in Italy, so of course we're going to talk about pasta. We all love pasta, right? A nice big plate of pasta. I know I do. But then sometimes I get concerned, and always the concerns about pasta is growing. Traditionally, pasta is high in simple carbs, and often these are of low nutritional value. So what do we do? If we go on the market, we're going to find a number of healthy pastas with health profiles. Uh, they're often made from quinoa, lentils, uh, different other types of ingredients. But then once you get to try them, they really miss the mark. They don't taste like pasta. You don't get that pasta experience that you want. The, the nutrition sometimes is also missing because some are made from rice and maize, which are just simple carbs. But then the beauty of this market is really strange. There's a big market. If you look at today right now, there's a high demand for um, organic foods, for gluten-free foods, and the consumption for these pastas has been growing over the last couple of years. And unfortunately, the reverse is true. Traditional pasta has been declining in terms of sales. So is there a better way to eat pasta? There has to be a way that we can have the pasta that we want and enjoy the food of every single day in a way that is healthy and is good for us. Welcome to Gabbana. We're here today to show you the best way to eat pasta that makes you feel good and you get to enjoy. This is a pasta that actually takes care of you and you also get to enjoy eating it. Gabbana is made from, is a light and healthy pasta. And how do we get this taste, this texture to perfection? We make it using green bananas. This is a special banana that we use, we developed a process where we are able to replace wheat from the production line. Together we use green bananas then to produce a pasta that has the optimal taste and texture you expect from pasta. In this way, we fit into the market. A simple comparison quickly. You're going to see banana has carb load of just eight. You compare that to wheat, which is a traditional pasta making ingredient, is at 24, that's big. The glycemic load, these are the simple sugars that make us fat, we feel bad, we feel sleepy. Banana is great, banana is just a load of eight versus 40 plus in wheat. So the health properties in banana, plus the perfect production capability, make green banana one of the best products you can have in your pasta. But we don't stop there. We supplement also our pasta together with buckwheat, beetroots, and amaranth. So we create different varieties of pastas so that every Gabbana pasta you pick has a wholesome nutrition, and at the same time you get to enjoy these different varieties of pasta for any meal you want to make. Is it any good? You bet it is good, and I can promise you it's great. We've done a number of tests in the Netherlands, together here in, in Italy as well, and the pasta has been good. And actually, I'm glad to announce that today at the cocktail, you're going to try Gabbana, of course. We're going to have Gabbana today, we're going to try some pasta, and I would really love to hear what you think, and I'm hoping it's gonna be great. So, where do we position ourselves? What's the market? What are we looking at? As I mentioned, we have the alternative pastas on the market, and these pastas are really, they are relatively good in terms of nutrition. They come at a steep price point though. You get 250 grams for around three to five uh, euros for 250 gram package. And on the other end, we have our traditional pasta that we know. So what Gabbana we have done, we've optimized our pasta, so that we have the health properties you want from a healthy pasta, everything you can imagine and more. And on the other end, we deliver to you the perfect pasta experience that is comparable to our traditional wheat pasta brands that we know and love. So in that way, we are in the right position to be on the market and none of these two competitions can really reach us. They will try, but we're going to be the leader in this category. So what is the market we are working in? I mean, the pasta category, the pasta market is big. If we are taking on the Western Europe, we have a big market right now, it's at 10 billion. And in this, for 2018, it's been projected it's going to grow to 20% market share for the alternative pastas. 
And this is where we are going to be. And Gabbana is going to lead this category for sure. And this we're going to do by the end in two years, I think we're going to be able to reach there. How do we make money in this market? We are a manufacturing company. Right now, we're co-producing co together with partners here in Italy, and from there, we earn 40% per consignment of what we sell to retail partners. On that, uh, we're giving a suggested price of 3.4 for, um, for the end consumer, but on that as well, the retailers and the partners still are able to earn a good price. So we are coming at a price point that is acceptable in the market, that is comparable to other pastas, so in that way, we are safe to launch our products. How are we launching? We're launching in Netherlands and Germany. Particularly these markets are interesting for me because they're really open to new foods, new ideas. They want to try different foods. So in that way, and I live and we are a Dutch company, so we know the market well and we're easy to launch there. And Germany is a big market also for healthy foods. So we're working with retail companies and catering companies and they're ready to take on our products. So, we have the market, the channels where to go, we have production, we have uh, distribution, and I'm also happy to announce today that the pasta we are having today was produced in partnership with Pavan. Pavan is a big Italian company making pasta lines globally. They love our product, they love our concept, and we've been able to partner with them to test our production and to lead our production. The next part, of course, is supply of the raw materials. And I'm happy to also to announce in Uganda, we have the production capacity to produce 10 tons of green banana flour per week. And this, we can scale much easily, much quickly, any time we want. I'm not doing this alone, of course. I have a great team, which is divided into three core categories. I'm into production, together with um, uh, Sneha, where it's about food design. So we design the concept, the product, make sure it's clear. Daniela, she's our communication, creative communication, so that you understand the product and what's going on. And of course, Lamia, nutrition, so that you know exactly what you're eating. And of course, Osge, she's our growth hacker to make sure we are into the market and we know where we're going. Q1, we are launching, uh, we are finalizing our production. Q2, we are going to look at starting our market pilots. And of course, by Q3 and Q4, we are setting up in Netherlands and Germany. And here we are going to have uh, this production of around 30 tons already. And by 2019, we want to reach 4 million in terms of revenue. To get here and to do this, we are raising 650K. And this is a great opportunity for you today who have managed to come here. So it's gonna be a secret in this room only. So with this 650K, we are going to do 40% of this going to be on production. 35 is going to be on marketing, of course, and 25 is going to be operations. The beauty is we've managed to start um, talks and we're almost securing 300K on this uh, part of the money that we need. So literally today we are only raising 300K. So with that, I would really want to welcome you and to invite you to join this venture, and I think you're going to do great. Our product is ready, the market is there, the partners we have, so Gabbana is ready to go on the market. Thank you very much. This has been Gabbana. John, so okay, some nasty questions for you. No, Thank right, you, Don. Right. So, yeah, and this keeps coming, right? I mean, why, why should I buy a packet of pasta for three euros 40 when I can buy a decent packet of uh, rumo for almost three times less? What's now, the answer to that? Uh, that's, that's a very fair question. I think how I look at it is Gabbana is in a very particular category. And in this category right now, you can see on the market itself, the market has decided the price points and it's relatively between three to five euros. But the beauty is, since we are having a better, much better value proposition of quality, tests, and the passating experience, I felt we are able to go to this market at this price point and we should be able to compete favorably. So I think it's a good point and it's a good price that the market can handle. Okay, and how about this name? I mean, a lot of people have been associating it. Uh, so what does it actually mean? Yeah, Gabbana, it's, on the look of it, it seems like a play of words of green banana, right? But actually this word, Gabbana, is a Ugandan word in, from one of the Ugandan languages, which means sharing. 
For me, I think it's about sharing food, sharing ideas, sharing innovation. So when I saw the word and green banana, for me it was an obvious choice. We are sharing food, sharing innovation, and yeah, it, it speaks to me and it speaks to my company. So, Gabbana, we are sharing our pasta with you today. And of course, you're welcome to taste it and make an opinion for yourself. Thanks, John. Thank, Thank you. you very much.